What's going on, guys? It's your girl, Janiqua A, and I'm back with another reading for you guys. If no one told you guys today, I love you, and I know all your dreams and aspirations matter, all right? Let me change my deck, because, yeah, all right. So, I'm trying to get y'all, well, I'm not trying, I am. Let me take that back. I'm getting y'all readings out, because I know y'all got shit to do. I know it's probably a busy Saturday. I just want to um, relax, but I do want to um, make sure y'all get y'all readings, right? So, that way, y'all can always stay ahead of the game. So, Spirit... Tell me what's the most important messages that need to be delivered at this time. All right. I sort of um, call it hunger. So somebody is hungry right now. Somebody is 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 really, really um, passionate about change, about change. Somebody is hungry for change. All right. Power. All right. Power. Power. So this is about somebody's power. All right. 16 could be significant to you, but this is a full moon energy. So this is illuminating somebody needing to regain power. Or somebody has a lot of power. Okay. Somebody has a lot of power. I feel like this is true divine feminine energy. I feel like this is you divine feminine. I feel like you have a lot of power right now because you're tapped in to your emotions with this moon card with this 16 6 plus 1 is 7 that's divine intervention so fate is at work in your life right now you got a lot of power all right because you're emotionally balanced oh divine masculine Ooh. Oh my gosh, so what I'm getting right now is that Zavon Feminine, you have a lot of fucking power right now, all right? When I say you are coming out strong as a true goddess, okay? And I feel like your Zavon Masculine is into the moon cycles too, believe it or not. Your masculine has been working with the moon cycles too. This masculine could be 42 or around that age or 41 or 46, okay? But these are divine masculine that is a moon child. I'm getting like a wizard. All right. This person's very spiritual, but most importantly, the moon signifies emotions. So I feel like this um uh, masculine is emotionally attached to you, and moons is significant. And this full moon is playing a big part because you looking like you got a lot of power right now. And they want some of that energy. All right. They are emotion they in their emotions about you right now all right it's your wisdom mm, 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 mm. so let's see spirit tell me more about this masculine energy and this divine feminine energy with her power it's like thank you spirit so it's like what i'm seeing is like yin and yang i'm i'm seeing masculine energy the sun power strength action and i see the moon goddess which is also power but in the emotions so when you put um, water and fire, emotions and actions together, it's like really, really good. It's powerful. All right. So divine masculine and a divine feminine, literally powerful. I'm getting a power couple. Thank you, spirit. I'm getting a power couple. All right. There's a lot of power in this relationship. I feel like this relationship might intimidate a lot of people. Okay. So tell me more about this. Um, I feel like also this masculine is looking for emotional support and whatever situation um, they are in, this masculine is looking for emotional guidance. They are looking for support. They don't have no emotional support right now. They're supporting themselves with their emotions. Okay. And I feel like right now you're able to support this masculine with their emotions because look how much power you have within yours. All right. I'm getting a lot of um, messages from these cards. All right, but significant moon, emotions, full moon, masculine and feminine energy, helping somebody being supportive um, in their emotions. All right, this person is stands on their own right now. Look, happiness, boom. This is a relationship that will fulfill you guys' dreams, believe it or not. So I don't think this is for everybody. This is not for a relationship where everybody's just fighting. This is for a balanced relationship because the woman has a lot of power right now and it's full moon energy, all right? This masculine has power in his emotions, but he's been holding his own. He's been in his too masculinity too much. 
He's been trying to get in his emotions. He's been trying to um, tap in his, his divine feminine energy. But I feel like when he tap into that energy, people try to play him and think he's soft. All right. But with you having a lot of wisdom, look, you got so much power um, in that area. You're able to satisfy their emotional needs. Okay. Literally. All right. This is wish fulfillment. Tell me more about this divine feminine and its power. I feel like y'all's connection is so powerful again because of the love, right? It intimidates a lot of people. Like when they see you guys, they see you as a power couple because it's not about what y'all go through on the inside. It's what you allow people to see. And that's strength. You don't disrespect your divine masculine is what I'm seeing. But you do speak your, speak your mind. But in a way that is understandable. All right, look, the nine of pentacles because you're doing something that creates fulfillment your 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 consciousness is 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 raised you're at a high vibration and whatever you do for work it requires you to um be still be emotional be um level-headed and be fear all right with this being fear with this being humble with this being so much in control of your emotions and not reacting on something because you have the power to you are accumulating a lot of wealth you are accumulating a lot of healthy bonds and relationships that you could rely on through resources. So now spirit sets you up to a point where you don't have to work hard because people fuck with you so much. All right. So I just feel like you got a lot to offer. Spirit, um, spirit tell me more about this. Um, damn. Tell me more about this energy. Um, this is nine, the nine of pentacles. So something came in full circle within nine months. You see the moon? Something came in full circle for you guys. Yeah, look, I can't make it up. Nine, ten. All right. So I feel like divine feminine. You have a lot of power in your emotions and in your stability to where you is already stable in your mind, your body, your spirit. This relationship that has a lot of power because of the emotional attachments and the fulfillment y'all bring to each other is going to provide you that 10 of pentacles. This is one and that's nine, that's 10. That's a complete fulfillment and stability in your emotions, your relationships, your bonds, but most importantly, generational wealth, your finances, you leaving back longevity with two souls coming together. All right? Tell me more about this energy. Um, this masculine um, could possibly be intimidated by you a little bit because of the power that you hold um, within your finances and stuff. Okay, that could be something too because I see you get into the bag. Yeah, and they might be looking over this and seeing how can they bring something to the table. All right, but with this seven... And this eight, that's the eight of pentacles. That's like eight, nine, ten. It's like y'all building together. Literally, it's like eight, nine, and then with together that y'all working on, that's ten. And that fulfills it. All right, this is amazing energy. Very powerful and strong energy with between two souls here. A mask and look, because you coming out as the queen of cups, that's not surprising to me because you're already in your power in the full moon. The um, Queen of Cups is a water sign, Case of Scorpio, Pisces, all right? But they are fully intact in their emotions. They have the biggest cup out of the deck, and that's the Holy Grail. The Holy Grail cannot be found out. They can't, the Holy Grail cannot be found with, with, um, on the outside. You can only find the Holy Grail with inside of you, and that's the cup that runneth over, all right? So, Queen of Cups, you are fully and your power and your emotions. You are fully in control of how you handle things. You are fully in control of the over the power you have and authority of others' emotions. All right. And you're helping this masculine. All right. Not feel like he by himself because he's been holding his own. All right. In a, in a relationship. Okay. So now with this Knight of Pentacles, you get paid to do something with wise counsel. You get paid spiritually to do something that provides wise counsel to that. So you was already good in your stability. This pinnacle is this relationship coming together, which is creating its happiness. All right. You may be a little bit more spiritually or financially stable 
than your person, but your person with this seven of pentacles to this one, that's the eight of pentacles. That's corrections. That's building. All right. And with that love, you are not making this person feel like they are less than because of your money. You very humble. All right. Because a relationship with this power of emotions and you coming out as the queen of cups, you don't give a fuck about money. And you might be trying to let this masculine know that too. Okay. Yeah. Look. You're trying to let this man know that success comes from within your holy grail. That's what's in your emotions. This masculine been balancing out his emotions. He just didn't have no support. You was already set up. You probably already went through a spiritual awakening. All right? But it's success here. Oh, my gosh. A foundation. A foundation. Okay? This is a, a couple where you intimidate a lot of people. Because of how spiritually connected you guys are. How wealthy you guys are in mind, body, and spirit. But most importantly, you guys are loyal to each other. Y'all might go through y'all little arguments. when it, But when they come back to that, like when they get to the outside, y'all not about to disrespect each other on the outside. Y'all might call each other all types of bitches, stupid shit on the phone. But when it comes to others, you're not about to disrespect your mas masculine. Alright, that's just the divine feminine energy that I see in this reading. Okay? So, let's go in with this and then. Spirit, tell me more about this divine masculine. He's working on himself. What I said, this masculine want to come to the table. He's been working day and night, night and day on whatever he's doing. To, I don't even think that, you know, the three of pentacles for me. Y'all already know, is getting back on track with your soul purpose. So I don't even think this is so much of you. I just think you're initiating him to get his shit together because he's a masculine. Maybe he relied on people too much and you're telling him, no, rely on yourself. So he's in his three of pentacles energy. This is a lot of pentacles. Working on money. Working on building your relationship. Working on creating the financial stabilities and the and the bonds that's needed to accumulate materialistic things here on earth all right what is this feminine energy spirit and its power look he's walking away to that he has released so many relationships and karmic cycles y'all because you teaching him you are already in your power divine feminine i need you to know that you are already in your full moon energy of power and a queen of cups you already learned how to walk. You went through the whole suit of cups. You already learned how to work through your emotions by going through hell and back. So you are able to provide this person emotional support. I'm telling you, this person didn't have no emotional support. They was doing it by themselves. And that takes coverage. But with a divine feminine that went through shit, that is not going to... That is not going to play you in front of people. Now, she might get in your ass by yourself, but she not about to play you in front of people. Yeah, that's going to give this masculine strength. To see how he was playing himself. Alright. To see how his divine mess, divine feminine was always on his side. Alright. So that's what I see. Alright. Um, I love you guys. And I'm going to leave it right here. And I'll be back with another reading.